To get God's will outside of doing it God's way is wrong, even if the end is right, okay? We have a tendency. How many of you would say that you're naturally go-getters? Yeah, quite a few of you. How many of you would say you're prideful? Everyone's hand should be raised right now. <laughs> That's all of us. They're like, oh, I wasn't going to raise my hand. It's a little embarrassing, but I saw like 20 people in my row do it. So I'm like, okay. Uh, yeah, we're all prideful. And we're, most of us are go-getters. But I will say this. We can swerve into places that only God should occupy in our lives very quickly. We can start taking things that we believe to be God's will in our life, maybe even are, but haven't yet been fully actualized, and step in to God's place and try to make it happen. We have that temptation and that struggle, and no matter how well-intentioned you might be, every time you try to enter in and make one of God's promises happen before he wants to give it is you pulling out of your lane and into God's. So listen to me, stay in your lane. You don't need to be going grasping for God's promises. Let me tell you, loved ones, if God's got promises, he not only will fulfill them, he'll bring them right to you. 